What's going on smart people? Before this video gets started, I added quantum mechanics and electrodynamics to the courses that I tutor. Go check out the website in the description for more information. Since the dawn of time, rappers long before T-Pain rhymed mansion with Wisconsin have been fascinated with being the realist. Well, I've got news for you. Eigenvalues of Hermitian operators are the realists. Like, literally, they're real, and that's what we're proving today. In the context of quantum mechanics, the eigenvalues of Hermitian operators are usually the observables, so that would make sense that they would have to be real. Otherwise, experimentalists would literally be looking for something that's imaginary. So let's hope that we're right. Let's use as a jumping off point pretty much the definition of an eigenvalue problem. We'll have some operator acting on a state psi. We know that that's going to be equal to, well, that state again, scaled. It's going to be stretched or compressed by a factor that we call the eigenvalue. So the goal of today is to show that this little fella is always going to be real, assuming that D is a Hermitian operator, meaning that it's equal to its Hermitian conjugate, or adjoint, whatever you want to call it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take the Hermitian conjugate of both sides. If we do that, then this becomes, this ket becomes a bra, so we get psi, and then d dagger is equal to alpha star psi. This is just a number. So the Hermitian conjugate of a number, well, its transpose is just going to be itself. So all that's left over is the complex conjugate. OK? Now let's go ahead and take the inner product of some bra psi to this. So we get psi d psi is equal to well, we know what this is. This is just alpha times our state. So this is just alpha psi psi. And we're not going to make any assumptions right now about whether these are orthonormal or whatever, but let's just say that, let's assume that psi psi isn't zero, because that would just be boring. Okay? And it also wouldn't really make sense. Um, let's do the exact same thing, but with this second equation here. So we're going to take the inner product with our ket vector. So we have psi d dagger psi, okay? And these two things should be equivalent at the end of the day because if we're working with a Hermitian operator, that means that d is equal to d dagger. But let's go ahead and carry this out anyways. We know that if we have a Hermitian conjugate of our operator, that means that it's now acting to the left. It's acting on our bra. And this is going to equal alpha star psi psi. So since d equals d dagger, that means that these two statements are equivalent, which means that we can equate the two. So we get that alpha psi psi is equal to alpha star psi psi. Let's go ahead and subtract this side of the equation over and uh, factor out our inner product here, and we get that psi psi times alpha minus alpha star is equal to zero. Now we already said that this is not equal to zero, which means that alpha minus alpha star equals zero, which means that alpha equals alpha star. And the only numbers that satisfy this relation, the only numbers that satisfy a number being equal to its complex conjugate is a real number. Therefore, alpha is the realist. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section what the next physics-y thing should be that I derive. And I'll see you guys there. And don't forget to subscribe for more daily physics videos and stuff.